Wow, this whole wall looks like the inside of an aquarium. Those aren't water bubbles, they're paperweights. What's a paperweight? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a decorative weight for holding down papers on your desk. They were invented in the 1840s, when more and more people could read and write. The postal service was improving, and so people were sitting at their desks, writing letters, collecting correspondence, and the paperweight came into existence to be a highly decorative, functional object. Don't you think it would be a lot easier just to put a rock on top of your papers? Maybe, but it wouldn't be as nice to look at. I'd rather have a colorful mushroom on my desk instead of a plain old rock. If you start at the bottom of this case and work your way up to the top, you can see the different stages of how that mushroom paperweight was made. But there isn't really a mushroom inside. It's made up of a group of slices of mosaic glass canes that are melted together to make the bright and colorful pattern of the mushroom top. I get it. The glass canes are squeezed up next to each other just like when you grab a handful of uncooked spaghetti in your hand. So, what happens next? It's then encased in glass. In fact, it's encased not only in colorless glass, but also in layers of white glass and red glass, which are cut away in order to make the little windows that you can look at the mushroom through. Look around this display and see what else you can find. Look out for butterflies. Maybe you'll find a lizard or some birds. And I know you'll discover plenty of flowers. Are you sure they didn't put real things in there? They look lifelike, but they're not. Every single one of them is made entirely out of glass.